All right, guys, welcome back to SPC Tutorials. In today's video, we're going to look at Leibniz theory. This is MTH 201 for 200 level students in Del Sur or any other school offering this course. This is on calculus. Now, remember from O level and 100 level, you must have seen something like this y equals uv, and you'll be told to differentiate. This is basically just your product rule. Where we said that um, dy over dx is u dv over dx plus v du over dx. This is what we called our dy dx. Now, Leibniz theorem is all about differentiating more than once. For example, you are asked to find the nth order derivative of this function. Let's say you are asked to find. Um, the 8y all over the x8. Will you go through the process of using product rule and get this? Use product rule, use product rule, then you keep on using product, product rule. No, you will only waste your time. This is where the Leibniz theory came into place. Now let's just differentiate up to three times. So let's see what we'll obtain if it will make sense to us. Now let's differentiate the second time. When you differentiate the second time, you are going to have when you keep you product rule, keep you differentiate dv dx, you get the square v over dx square. Plus, now you keep the v dx dot and differentiate you. When you differentiate you, you get du over dx. Now we have settled this part. Let's move to this part. Plus, keep v. When you differentiate u, the u dx, you get the square u over dx square plus when you keep this, differentiate this, you get the v over dx dot the u over dx because you kept this and differentiated this. Now, what do you observe about this? What do you observe? That this term is the same as this term. So, when you have 1 dv over dx, times du over dx plus another dv dx times du dx, you get twice of it. So this is du d square v dx square plus 2 dv dx du dx. So we have gotten this part plus v d square u over dx square. Now, I, I don't know if you have observed a pattern. It's almost like your binomial theorem. But so, so that you observe more of this pattern, let's differentiate the third term. So we have the cube y over the x cube. Now if I differentiate the second term, product rule again, I'll use product rule here, I'll use product rule here, and use it here again. So basically, keep you, differentiate this, you get the cube v over the x cube. Plus, now you kept this, now you have to keep this. And differentiate the other so you have the square v over dx square dot du over dx i kept this and differentiated this plus let me keep this two first of all keep the v dx differentiate this you will get the square u over dx square when i differentiate du dx now plus i kept the v over dx before now i'm going to keep the u over dx so when i keep the u over dx and differentiate the v over dx i will get the square v over dx squared so we have settled this part remaining the last part now let me keep v keep v differentiate the square u over dx square if i differentiate that i will have the cube u over the x cube plus keep the square u over the x square differentiate v you get the v over dx now let's add common terms so the first thing to do let's write this the cube y over the x cube it's equivalent to u the cube v over the x cube this part now let's do common terms you can see the square v times du dx and you can also see the square v times du dx here so these two things are common but there's a two here 
So two times this is two plus one of it. That would be three. So we have plus three. The same thing applies here. You can see the square u over the x square times the vdx. You can also see it here, but there's a two here. So twice of this plus one will give you three times of it. So this is theory the square u, or let me write the square v, the u over the x, the square v dx square, plus another three, the square u dx square, the v dx. Then lastly, this term, v the cube u over the x cube. Now, if you observe this pattern, it is almost like our binomial theorem. That when you have a plus b all square, you get a square plus 2ab plus b square. Come here, observe this. Observe this one. You can see this. You can see the square here. You can also see the square. And you can see the 2, which is the coefficient. Now, if you have a plus a plus b all cube, it's equivalent to a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube. So come to this part. Observe the pattern. You can see the cube here. And you can also see this cube here. And you can see the square and just raise the power 1 here. You can also see it here. So basically, it's almost like your it's almost like your binomial expansion so with that that was how the Leibniz theorem was proved to be this because we observe that it is almost like your binomial theorem we start seeing it that way so the ny over the x squared the nth derivative of this function would be So as we are moving forward, we keep on reducing these powers. Plus, I need, I need more space. I need more space. Plus, I'm heading somewhere. As we are moving, we are differentiating this. We are differentiating this and we are reducing the order of this. So this is du over dx dot dn minus 1 v over dx with n minus 1. Plus, we are differentiating this more and more again. We are differentiating this. Then we'll keep on going like that till we get to the nth term where we differentiate this. The nth term. The nth term dot dv over dx. So this is where we will stop dot sorry dot v dot v but now what about the coefficients you can see that we have coefficient 3 here coefficient 3 this is where the binomial theorem comes from you now have n combination 0 n combination 1 n combination 2 and n combination n so basically i know some of you are confused about what we just did but with this example you should be able to understand what the Leibniz theorem is only bad. Now let's move to example one using the Leibniz theorem. I came up with a method that you use to make everything easy for you and very short for you. So let's do it this way. So we are, we are told that y is equal to x raised to the power 4 exponential x. And we are asked to look for the fourth derivative. Now what you do, break it down, x raised to the power 4 x raised to the power 4 exponential x. Write it this way. Now, when you do that, what you do is, since we are looking for differentiate everything four times, if I differentiate this once, I will have um, 4x cubed. If I differentiate this the second time, I will have 12x squared. If I differentiate it the third time, I will have 24x. And when I differentiate this the last time, I will have 24. So this is the first derivative, second derivative, third derivative, and the fourth derivative. Same thing applies here. When I differentiate this, I'll get this. I'll get this again. I'll get this. I'll get this again. This is where the trick comes into place. Start 
multiplying them like this this goes to this this goes to this this one has to go to this this one will come to this and this comes to this guy here so basically we'll have x raised to power 4 times this plus 4x raised to power 3 exponential x then this goes to this part we have plus 12x square exponential x then we have this one plus 24x exponential x then lastly we have plus 24 exponential x but we are not done remember that it is four times we are differentiating so the coefficients are actually four combination zero four combination one four combination two four combination three and four combination four so what is four combination one four combination zero is one so one times this is already like this four combination one is four so we multiply four with this one so this part turns to 16. 4 times 4 is 16. What about our 4 combination 2? You can use your calculator. 4 combination 2. That's 6. So we multiply 12 by 6. 36. 12 times 6. You get 72. Then this other part, when you do 4 combination 3, you get 4 also. So we have 24 times 4. That's 96. So this part becomes 96. Then for the last part, 4 combination 4. 4 combination 4 is 1. So 1 times 24. So your final answer becomes... Your final answer, when you differentiate that stuff, becomes the 4y over the x raised to power 4 is x raised to power 4 exponential x plus 16x cubed exponential x plus 72x square exponential x plus 96x exponential x plus 24 exponential x that will be your answer so it is shorter to do it this way than to follow through your product rule let's do the last example for this video let's do the last video so this is y raised to power y is equals x raised to power 5 cos 2x and we are asked to find the third derivative so keep them first as usual keep them first then differentiate three times when you differentiate these ones you get 5x raised to power 4 when you differentiate the second time you get 20x cubed and when you differentiate the last time you get 60x squared when you differentiate these ones, you get minus 2 sine 2x. When you differentiate this the second time, you get minus 4 cos 2x. And when you differentiate this the last time, you get minus 8. Minus times minus is plus. So you get minus 8 plus 8 sine 2x. So as usual, this goes to this guy. This one comes to this guy. This comes to this guy. Just like that. So we have x raised to the power 5 times 8. This is 8x raised to the power 5 sine 2x. I've gotten this part. Then minus 4 times 5 is minus 20. We have minus 20x raised to the power 4 cos 2x. Minus 2 times 20 is minus 40x cubed sine 2x. Then for the last term, this goes to this plus 60x squared cos 2x but we are not done we are not done remember we are differentiating three times so we are the coefficients are actually three combination zero three combination one three combination two three combination three these are the coefficients so let's start what's three combination three combination zero is one so one times everything here repeats itself so this is 8x raised to the power 5 sine 2x. Then what is 3 combination 1? 3 combination 1 is 3. So 3 times minus 20 will give us minus 60. So we have minus 60x raised to the power 4 cos 2x. Then what is 3 combination 2? 3 combination 2 is also 3. 3 times this. So this gives us plus 180. Sorry, we are multiplying with this minus 120 
x cube sine 2x. And finally, what is 3 combination 3? That's just 1. So we repeat this plus 60x squared cos 2x. So this will be our answer for differentiating these three terms. So that will be all for this video. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And any issues you have, state it in the comment section. If after watching this video and you still do not understand some parts, you can notify us via the comment section. I will do more videos for you to understand how Leibniz theorem works. Thanks for watching.